Intradermal subcuticular or intracutaneous suturing pattern. This is an appositional continuous suturing pattern where I will show you how to bury the knot. This is a very popular suturing technique for skin closure. I recommend that you use an absorbable that is mandatory and also monofilamentic suture. So here you see I start superficial and then I go deep. Take a, a bite of the subcuticular layer. And then I go superficial to deep once again on the opposite side of the incision. Then I'm ready to bury the knot. So you make a surgeon's knot 211 or 2111 if you like that. And then you cut the suture end close to the knot but not so close that it will slip. Now I'm ready to start the continuous pattern. And here I start behind the knot that I just buried to close the incision completely. It's very, very important that you don't cut the suture that's already in the wound or the incision with the needle. The needle is very sharp, like a scalpel blade. So if you touch the suture with the needle, then you have damaged the suture. So we, here we go with the continuous pattern. We start on one side and then to the, to the next side. And it's very important that you just cross the incision and you don't go back. So the bite you take on the opposite side has to be perpendicular to the suture that came out on the other side. So go all the way and then we're ready to close. Here we make a loop. I go superficial to deep, as you see it here, superficial and then deeper. And then I make a loop with the suture. This loop I will use to tighten my continuous pattern. And now I'm allowed to grab the suture with the needle holder because I will not use this piece of suture. I'll cut it away. So I cut but only the loop, not the rest of the suture with the needle. Cut the loop off with short suturing end. Then I load the needle holder with my needle again. And I go behind the knot that's buried. buried. And I'm careful not to touch or damage the suture with my needle. I go up one centimeter from the incision, tighten it, take my suturing scissor and cut.